Namaste. In this video, I am going to show you how to make rotating shelf mechanism in Swordworks. So let's start. I am making all my parts in assembly to save my time. So click on insert components, click on new part. Now select the front plane. After that press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Now draw a straight line. The length of the line is as per your requirement. So I am making a length of line is 150 mm. After that go to circular pattern. Click here. Select the origin. Make sure you need to select the origin till it show here. Okay. As you can see it show here as 0.1. After that click on entities to pattern. Select the line. Make sure that the number of entities is 4. Click OK. After that click on offset. Click on bidirectional. Click on cap ends. Select more lines. Okay. And the distance is 10 mm. Click OK. Go to trim entities. Trim the necessary part. Make sure that you dimension them before extruding so that you will not face any kind of problems. Now go to features, click on extrude both base, uh, thickness is 10 mm, click OK. Select this face, click on sketch. Click on circle, draw a circle as per your requirement. I am making a circle of diameter 15 mm or 10 mm is better. Now select this point and this 150 mm. Press escape, select the center of the circle and this point make it vertical click ok go to circular pattern click here select this point select the circle click ok go to features extrude it extrude up to 20 mm click ok now select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view draw a circle 15 mm extrude it as per your requirement uh, let's say 80 mm click ok exit the edit assembly component mode select the top plane of the uh, assembly click ok press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view now draw two lines that are basically 80 mm apart from each other Make sure these lines are horizontal and the distance is let's say 100 mm or 150. Uh, you can increase or decrease the distance as per your requirement. So I am taking 100 mm final. click ok exit the sketch now remember you can increase or decrease the distance the distance is basically depend upon the part that I am going to make ok so click on insert components click on new part select the front plane click here click on front plane and press ctrl plus 8 now Now select midpoint, draw the line. Uh, if you remember correctly that the distance is 100 mm. So this one is also need to be 100 mm. Okay. 100 mm. Click on offset entities. 
and check the by direction uh, click on by directional select this and click ok now draw the two circles that are basically going to act as a hole Ten mm. Ten mm. make sure while doing this you click on no external references else you will face problem while doing assembly and press escape select this line click to construction geometry click ok now go to features click on extrude extrude up to a length of 250 mm exit the edit assembly component mode now press ctrl and right click on it drag this part now click on the eye click on view temporary axis select this and this sorry before doing that rotate this part to this face click ok now select this temporary axis and this axis click ok similarly goes here select the select this temporary axis and this sketch click ok and the distance from here to here is to uh, to 70mm click ok now select this line and this line click ok select this line and this line click ok now select this face and this face make it parallel click ok now go to advanced mates click on width select this face and this face now this face and this face so it will automatically move it into the center click ok now if you try to rotate it ok i have need to make one more mate select this face click on mate and select the front plane click on sketch click ok now let's see what kind of view we got as you can see now the plate is moving and it is always remain horizontal now we need to make four more so what we can do is simply press ctrl and right click on drag it and we need and just do the mating work and this is going to be last one there might be chances when you do uh, in your case it will not work properly so the reason might be for that that your parts are not float so make sure that your all parts in float condition else it will not going to work properly in your case click ok now let's see how does it work you can see it's working very great uh, you can also say this is your merry-go-down structure merry-go-down type mechanism and now go to motion study click on motor select this face and decrease the rpm to 50 click ok and zoom it and right click on orientation disable it 
now click increase the fps let's say 33 you can increase or decrease up to as per your requirement now click on play I guess the velocity is quite high. Let's reduce this to 20. Click OK. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any doubts and queries, make sure you ask in comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.